Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we're taking a look at the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 Marvel Legends wave from Hasbro. In particular, Jessica Drew. Now, Jessica Drew is no new character to the Spider-Man comic books. She is a character that's played Spider-Woman. And this is the uh, Across the Spider-Verse version of that character. Now, it's a very interesting choice in design is very different to what we've seen before not only the costume but also the fact that she's pregnant um that's quite an interesting take i'm curious as to how that's going to play into the story but we have our first pregnant marvel legends figure um included in the box is a set of alternate hands so just closed fist hands and that's it this whole wave um to be honest with you overall is quite light on accessories there's additional hands, there's a couple of additional heads, and I think only one of them came with actual kind of accessory accessories. But either way, let's have a look at Jessica Drew. Now, the actual kind of design of her costume is quite cool. There's like a little bit of plastic underneath there, that's a bit bizarre. I'll just try to get it out. Um, but yeah, the design of her character, uh, design of her costume is quite cool. It is very different than what we've seen in the comic books. Now, in the comic books, she has that kind of all-in-one suit with the uh, the yellows and the the reds, and then later on, there's a different color scheme. But this this obviously has the red element to it. But it's essentially a biker jacket. That's that's her costume. She's got a pair of glasses, um, yellow glasses a kind of what looks to be like a leather jacket or a biker jacket, leggings, uh, a kind of pouch that goes on her thigh, and some boots. So it's not really a, a costume, I don't think. I'm a little bit disappointed in the design. If we're stripping it back and looking at it as an action figure, it's not too bad. I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, detail. It's all pinless. The sculpting is all brand new for this particular figure. The hair is absolutely phenomenal. It's such a big well textured piece of hair and it balances quite well I was a little bit worried that with like some of the older Marvel Legends a large hair piece was going to kind of unbalance her but I don't know whether it's to do with the body proportions on this figure or what but she balances quite well and she actually does hold a pose um, when I say a pose she can stand up um, now the articulation in her isn't overly limited she's got two points of articulation in her elbows which is really cool um, her shoulders kind of go up and down. The head does move around. The hairpiece doesn't get in the way of positioning the hair in different directions. The legs, again, have two points of articulation in the knee and then all the standard points of articulation in the ankles and the waist. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to get excited about her as a character before I've seen her in the film. But from what we can tell, she is going to feature a little bit heavier than some of the other figures that we've seen in the wave. We definitely know that she's going to have a part to play. How much of a part, we are still yet to find out. But yeah, there's some interesting design choices in the costume. It's not an overly exciting costume, let's be perfectly honest with you. I think the unique sort of selling point of this figure is that she's pregnant. That's a bit of a, a random one for an action figure. But yeah, I mean, she is what she is. I mean, as an action figure, I can't fault the design or the paint. Um, she's put together really really nicely and as a big collector of the spider-man universe or the spider-verse i'm really pleased to be able to put this version of jessica drew in with some of my other versions and with other versions of spider characters from across the spider-verse um but yeah it's she's she's okay she's she's not selling herself as a spider-man figure in my opinion it's not a spider-man spider woman figure there's nothing in here we haven't even got web shooting hands there's a little bit of kind of web detail on the inside of her jacket there but apart from that it's not overly selling itself as a spider-verse figure however once i've seen the film if she has a, a nice decent part to play and is it sort of you know a key character to that storyline then i might feel a little bit differently but overall i'm not disappointed because she will fit in with my Spider-Verse figures. But if you were going out to just pick one of these figures up from this wave, probably wouldn't be this one, because there isn't anything unique about it in that respect. Like I said at the beginning though, the sculpting is pretty damn good. It's, yeah, the sculpting on her is really nice. 
the hair really stands out as the feature part for this figure, the feature piece for this figure. Um, the design of the jacket is nice, and it's nice to see some new sculpted parts. I'd be a little bit disappointed if these were all reused parts. Um, and her body proportions are quite realistic, unlike some of the other comic book characters and other action figures. She's a very realistic looking action figure. So, yeah, it kind of fits in a bit bizarrely, but yeah, there you go. Jessica Drew. Um, interesting that they don't call her Spider Woman on the box, but do just refer to her as Jessica Drew. I don't know whether that's got any anything behind it. Who knows? Um, but either way, do check out my channel for the rest of this wave in review. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.